All right, good morning everybody and welcome to uh, Metal Detecting History. And today I am out at the old Del Monte cannery. You can see it in the background now. And although I'm not privileged like this woman, for some reason she has a key. I don't know whether she's an owner or somebody related to the uh, owners uh, on that, but they, they want to use that site for uh, redeveloping. You can see the old uh, water tower there in the foreground with the stand. So I'm confining my, I thought I might have access to that, and I'm kind of glad now I didn't uh, make a go for it and kind of uh, just reach over the fence and start detecting there because that's, that's like bad form. When you're a metal detector, fences generally mean keep out. So what I'm doing today is just detecting all the uh, ground on the outside of it. And of course the railroad used to run up beside there too. And I just had my first, I've got a couple clad points, uh, coins, nothing special, but I did get my first strong signal here. And looky here, an old, uh, and I do mean old uh, ax head here. So that's kind of cool. Old piece of uh, steel there, and I bet that's uh, well, it's a, you can just see it, it's it's layering away here, so it's it's kind of cool. I don't know, I've detected over here a few times, but I'm really going to take my time today and uh, chase down a lot of signals. Remember, if you're a uh, if you want to be a first class detector and you see all the real successful detectors on YouTube, you want to make sure you're digging every signal. Sure, you're going to leave with a ton of junk. Hopefully, you don't just drop it back in the ground again, but uh, clear it out. You're going to leave with a ton of junk, but uh, you might leave with one or two uh, cool treasures. They might not be worth a lot to other people, but something like this. Although I'm not going to take it with me today, it's really cool to just uh, to just kind of uh, dig a piece of history. So. All right, everybody, that sure sent the uh, detector screaming. That weighs about uh, five pounds there, so on with the dig. All right, guys, here's our first uh, first nice find of the uh, day. And this thing is in some kind of uh, fantastic shape. Don't know how well you can see it, but it is a uh, mercury dime. I'll try to sneak a peek at the uh, date, 19... Like, no, I'm not sure what it is. Looks like 1941. And I can't really tell if it's a uh, mint mark, but uh, nice find. We're just out here by the, uh, by the railroad. We're searching in the uh, coin mode here, which is the deepest and the best. I think for finding treasure. Yeah, I have to dig up a lot of trash, but this is the second time I have been uh, over this site. And the first time I went over, pardon me, it's windy as hell today. The first time I went over this uh, site in the uh, deep silver mode, everything else was being excluded. I didn't, f I found half the stuff that I've uh, found right now. It's just axiomatic, guys, that if you want to have success in metal detecting, Forget about the discrimination and dig every single signal, okay? We got our first silver of the day, and that is A-W-E-S-O-M-E. -E. And look at the shape. They always come out really nice. All right, guys, more treasures of white. All right, I'll let you see after. Uh, we got a couple sites to go today. I'll let you see after what I got after. I think I've pretty well cleaned this site. I really thought I'd be out of this site like an hour ago, but this thing is still kicking out the uh, money. Okay, I only got one silver today. I don't got a weedy. It seems like uh, I repel weedy scents or something. I seem to get the silver, 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 which is okay by me. I'm not complaining. But here's a uh, another uh, another clad here. So, you know, I swept through here first with the uh, deep silver mode and thought I had uh, thought I did a pretty thorough job. I decided to come back. Put the XLT in the coin mode, and man, this thing is just popping out coins like you just cannot believe. So I am basically stuck in this little corner back by the fence on the side of the old uh, warehouse building. And it's a windy day. I'm hoping this sucker doesn't fall over. It's just barely being propped up by these iron uh, iron things. You can see the old one of the old warehouses over here. 
where I really want to detect is all fenced in, but uh, you know, I'm I'm getting her done here today, and uh, sometimes you just a sight will not let you go, whether you're pulling up clad or. I got the top of what looks like an old uh, winding key on a uh, on a watch, an old time watch. So keeps it keeps uh, kicking up the treasure. So you know when you're metal detecting, sometimes you're just uh, you better just uh, bring some water because you might be at a site for a little while, and I'm talking about hours. So I'm gonna keep uh, keep going. I probably found uh, 15 coins within a uh, within a five foot radius right here. And I'm getting some from the uh, 60s and the 70s, the good copper kind, very few zinc. So I'm going to proclaim this uh, a mini kind of honey hole here. I don't know how much of this uh, schmutz pile I'm going to move over here, but uh, I might end up doing it because I have a feeling this, uh, this has not really been uh, hit before detecting, or if it was, it wasn't hit real well. All right, there's our first nickel find of the day. I thought it was going to be something kind of old the way it was uh, schmutzed up here, but actually uh, it looks like a 1990. I haven't been able to look real uh, closely yet, but you know my uh, rule of thumb, if you're digging up nickels, you're doing metal detecting the right way because they're right in there with foil and uh, pop tops from aluminum cans. I've been in this uh, site for about uh, two hours, guys, and I am just I am just pulling out coins. Like, okay, I only got one silver, but my goodness, I've never seen a, such a concentration. And you look at it; this is where uh, a lot of homeless people, I think, would sleep in here. And uh, but uh, I'm gonna keep hitting it hard in here. This is uh, part of a dance center in here now, and I gotta just be careful when the last car leaves. They're going to lock that gate. Rosie girl is going to be having to uh, hike home and maybe carless for the, for the rest of the weekend. So my pocket is just full of uh, stuff here. I'm going to keep hitting this place hard. So, uh, all right, watching. guys. Well, sadly, I got the 10 minute warning that the uh, main gate's going to be shut here to the uh, dance center. But uh, there's the uh, honey hole over there. You can see beside the old uh, warehouse and this area in here, especially that end down there, within about uh, an hour and a half yielded up all this stuff in there. And I'm talking about a dollar fifty in clad, a couple keys, we got uh, five dimes, a nickel, looks like a uh, old winding key top here. And uh, some type of grommet, and of course we have our uh, really nice mercury dime, which made the hunt great today. And uh, we got about uh, 20 pennies here. So I don't think since I've been metal detecting, except the times when I've gotten the uh, odd coin spill, a uh, a roll of pennies or something, that I've ever had such a concentration of money. And I'm sure I maybe I got about half of it. So you know I went through with the. Uh, with the deep silver program and uh, got up about four or five coins and I came rolling through with the coin pre-program coin program and I just got a ton of stuff on there so you know once again you know the less discrimination the more you're going to be digging the more you're digging the more you're going to find so this was uh, this was great so what I want to do now is uh, maybe do a little tree well searching out there so I'm going to get rolling before they close the gate here. Okay, you can see I'm in one of the uh, older neighborhoods downtown. Some of these beautiful Victorian buildings. And boy, what I wouldn't give to search that uh, that property. But that ain't going to happen. And uh, another lovely one across the uh, street there. Actually, the whole street's kind of nice. So it's a good day today to uh, do some uh, tree well hunting up here. We're on a roll. We got our first silver of the day. And there's some uh, old houses here. Not many people uh, hunt the tree wells. Those spaces between the uh, between where you park your car and the sidewalk. So I'm going to get on that and uh, enjoy the scenery and enjoy the beautiful uh, late November day. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up the uh, hunt today. You would think uh, these kind of neighborhoods that you would be pulling out. Uh, pulling out good Wheaties and things like uh, galore but it's not always the case you know it's kind of weird I've got a handful of just uh, copper you know memorial pennies the odd dime or two so it's been a fantastic day though I want to thank you for uh, being along 
and uh, you already saw the treasures I dug out before at the uh, railroad square, the old warehouse, the uh, the uh, canning plant. I'll uh, I'll spare you a after vid here and uh, wish you a great afternoon. Thanks for watching. It was another silver day.